Hello people, welcome back to the Eagle Byte 83 channel where the past never dies. I am of course your host, Eagle Byte, and tonight we are going to continue in Kid Icarus for the, um, for the NES, and we're going to do this uh, because it's 8-bit fun day. Uh, I will, however, not promise that I'm going to be uh, doing this for a long time, because partly because uh, I am actually going getting up early tomorrow. I have to get up at... I think like 5:45, like 15 minutes to six, and uh, yeah, I can't be uh, can't be up that late tonight. And also, Kid Icarus is not my favorite game for the NES, so uh, um, I'm gonna try to aim for one level. This is gonna t like this is gonna draw this down to a crawl, but I mean, I mean, it, it all depends on how quickly I beat this level. If I be, if it takes too long and I get too frustrated, then I'm gonna be, like, I'm just gonna stop it right there and I'm gonna log off. But uh, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. At least refreshing water for a refreshing experience, hopefully. <sighs> okay, good. Let's do it. Let's do this. And go. But we are here for the controller breaking. Oh, sorry. Hold on. I need to, I need to turn down the volume slot somewhat. Uh, 25. There we go. Uh, we are here for the controller breaking. What do you mean, Fart Knocker? And welcome back, by the way. Yeah, I know. Oh, you mean uh, to, you're here to see me being frustrated. We'll see. Uh, I can't promise anything. But you will probably get your money's worth. Even though you didn't pay anything, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Um, did turn it down somewhat. Uh, all right, so we'll see where we are right now. I think we s left off on the first level of Earth. Uh, so we have left the uh, underground, and we are now up on Earth level. And let's see how this goes. <laughs> no worries, man. I'm. I always. I want to make it like my. Uh, uh, I want to make it a l routine. I always need to turn it down whenever I play NES, and I always need to turn it back up when I play anything else. Sometimes, like now, I forget to do that, but yeah, I remembered it just in time, basically. <laughs> uh, okay. So, how, how, how are you, Farty? Oh, yeah. There you go. I actually didn't know that you could aim upwards. Congrats on the win on Apex the other day. Oh, you saw that! Yeah, you saw it in uh, in the club. Yeah, I did it. Uh, what was it? It was. Uh, yeah, it was a. It was with randoms, I think. But I'll tell you a secret. I think you know uh, the randoms sort of carry me if they're good. Uh, I do manage to get in. A couple of kills every now and then, but mostly they're like you know like Uber MVP. They're like going around gunning down everything. So I just you know tag along, <laughs> you know. If they're good, if they're bad, we usually get killed pretty quickly. <laughs> um, yeah, and we also included Lee, uh, Liam now. Um, I think he's 10 years old. He's a he's a small boy, but he's a he's a very uh, genuine personality, and uh, he's our newest newest member in Ego Bits. I'm good. Thought I would stop by and check it out before my wife wants to play a game. Oh, okay. Uh, what are you gonna be playing? Also, a uh, Farty, I would like to play with you again, uh, Apex, someday. 
maybe you could uh, uh, join us in uh, Apex Evening again. If we, like, have four people, one is gonna have to, like, you know, be... Uh, uh, we're gonna have to take turns, you know what I mean? But if you would be up for it, uh, that'd be pretty cool. And you don't even have to use a cam, because we already have, like, three cams in the... And I know you're good with that, you know? Like... <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, god damn it! Uh, cool man. Probs, warm hammer, warm hammer, vermin tied to. Ah, okay, cool. Uh, yeah. So, what do you think, Farty? Up, right, or down? I think I checked down before, before I logged off last time. Oh, you want? Okay. Right. I'll do that. <laughs> you want me to go right? Right. Oh, Jesus. Oh, by the way, uh, Farty, did you see... Uh, uh, oh, Jesus. Uh, the last episode of... Uh, of uh, Apex Evening. In that one, I actually did a game called Phasmophobia, which I'm sure you already are familiar with. Um... Working timing is the only problem. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. But I wanted to sh uh, ask you, have you played uh, Phasmophobia? Uh, oh. There is nothing here. Oh, wait. Okay, that was weird. Um, I would like to get... Uh, I would like to play with people. Like, play Phasmophobia together. It's one of those games that's trending right now. Uh, sort of like Among Us was trending like a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's a ghost hunter game. You're supposed to find evidence of a ghost, and you're 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 like a you're a, you're a group of people going into haunted houses, and it's actually I don't know. It's not that creepy, but Tom finds it's extremely creepy for various reasons and I think that's like it's a it's up to uh, it, it's up to different personalities so like it's different for every individual basically uh, but it is kind of creepy I have to admit that a little bit at least um, getting all trendy now yeah I know but I was actually really really curious about phasmophobia I was really curious I haven't played it since uh, we did the live stream this Friday but I am looking forward to playing it again because it was it was interesting it was absolutely um, with every uh, every match you uh, if you survive you manage to get uh, paid for finding the ghosts uh, if you do, and if you, as I said, if you survive. Uh, if you don't survive, you, you get nothing, of course. And I managed to earn $10. So I managed to buy a lighter. Like, I can, I can light candles. <laughs> and then, of course, you can buy, like, other equipment, like a more expensive gear, like a... Uh, an EMF meter and, and stuff like that, like UV flashlights and whatnot. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that was not the right way. Hey, Tom! How are you, man? Grounded is some really scary shit. I don't know what a buy. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Grounded? What's that? Is that also a ghost hunting game? <laughs> I don't actually know which way to go. I'm gonna go to the right here. There we go. Okay, but you know how I feel. Yeah, I know, I know. May I help you? We have everything. Ooh, for the first time, I can actually buy something. And again, I... Oh, I remember. I should have checked before I started the stream. I was supposed to research what all these things do. I know this one in the middle, the wine chalice, it uh, refills your health. But I don't want to do that now, because uh, I can just restart from the save state. I haven't, like, gotten that far into the game, or in the, uh, into the level. 
Rust meets. Oh, that one. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I heard about it. Uh, Lena Mugen actually uh, uh, got Zai to get it. They they could get it now because it's free for those who have Xbox passes. Oh. Which I don't. Wait, where am I supposed to go? No, not that way. Could I... Oh, wait. No, that was just a dead end. I also haven't tried it, um, so I can't say for sure. Oh, I mean Phasmophobia. Ah! Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna go up here, I think. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, reload. I get my water back on Tuesday. Already? Oh, nice! Good, good. That's what we like to hear. Yeah, there you go. So now you can actually take a shit. That is awesome. Ouch. Have you have you held it in until today, Tom? Are you still holding it in? <laughs> <laughs> no, it isn't good. <laughs> Wait a minute, this just looks like we're going in circles almost. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Run! Oh, eggplant! Mr. Eggplant! Ah! Damn it. I'm an eggplant. Look, I'm an eggplant. Ah! I don't want to be an eggplant. Jesus. Aww. <sighs> yeah, this is going to be a long night. <laughs> oh, da -da 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 -da. But yeah, I really want to... Uh, I want to try Phasmophobia again. I, I haven't played since Friday. So, looking forward to that. And also, ooh, yeah, Larry. tomorrow we are going to continue in Project Base for DayZ. Uh, we're going to see if our car is still where we left it. Uh, last time we logged in, which was this Thursday, just to see if the car was still there. Uh, it was. But now I'm not so sure. It has been a couple of days, so... We'll see. Also, I got an update on the um, uh, uh, up update for uh, Daisy. 1.1 is going to be dropped December 13th. So we have a couple of days left, at least. We have we have a couple of days to do do some shit on uh, the public server. Got to live live and breathe those games, man. No breaks. Going to go to a friend's house. So, yeah. Good. <sighs> okay, here we go again with the eggplants. Uh, you know what? I don't care. Let me. Oh, shit. Okay. Ah, no! No! I should have I shouldn't have left the platform. Hold on, let's reload. I found that out that it's actually better to just stay here. Just fire to the right and then aim upwards. 
most of the times they go above you so you can actually do that. Sometimes they use patterns where they come from beneath. Uh, whoa, Jesus. Okay. There we go. Oh, you piece of shit! Get over here! I don't even know where to go. You know what? I actually... Yeah, hold on. I'm going to do this. I want to see if there's a map. Because these things just... Like these rooms. These rooms just confuse the hell out of me sometimes. Or usually. Mostly. Uh, okay. Kid. E. Garus. And then map. And level... Three, four, yeah. Okay, let's see here. That is not where we are. Oh, maybe three, two. No, three, one, maybe. No, sorry, two. Two, one. That's where we are, I think. Or maybe not. No, 1-4. One 1-4 four. One four is where we are. Okay. Yeah, 1-4. Okay, so we... Actually, we haven't even left the first world. That was weird. Okay, all right. So where do we start? Where is the uh, goal here? Fortress walkthrough. Okay, so this is the fortress. Is there... Does that mean there's a boss here? Interesting. It is possible. Start. What if you go down there? Okay, we can't actually go that way, so... If we go that way... Oh yeah, there's a lot of eggplants. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. Um... Gano mead. Staying and fighting to collect, collect points as much as optional. Uh, defeat the kobolds, but watch out for the shimums. Okay. <laughs> oh, there is a boss fight. Twin Bellows is his name. Okay, where is that? That is... Let me see. I am not sure, actually. Oh, there it is. Okay. So... Right, right, uh, right, three times right. Uh, yes, okay, when we get to the shop, the shop is to the right, go back and go down, and then go one down, and then, no, wait, we can't do that, damn it. That's a dead end, okay. Okay, two right, then one down. Two right, down, left, down, right, and then just continue on. Two right, down, left, down. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, wait, let's restart. I got confused there. <laughs> okay. Two right, down. Hey, look at that! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! Why can't I get that one? Oh. Okay, two right, down. Uh, yeah, this is the one where I go down, yeah. And then left. Yes. And then here, we go down. But we can't actually... Oh, okay. Wait a minute. We need to be able to... We can't get up here. We need probably an item of some sort to be able to get up there. Hmm. Okay. Let me see what the walkthrough says. Uh, 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 
could mount, uh, purchase the pencil and or the torch. Uh, Okay, the room to the right gives you access to a shop and the hospital. Visiting them is op optional. When you're ready, climb up through the top ladder. What? Okay. Oh, there. Okay. Top ladder. Yeah, sure. Um, wind your way through across the platforms to reach the ladder at the top, taking out the cobbles along the way. Climb up to the next room. Uh, when it's safe to do so, jump up through the yellow platform. Uh, okay. Advance the left door. When you enter this room, it's a good idea to squat down so as to avoid getting hit by a flying eggplant when you advance toward the eggplant wizards. Okay, so we need to get up there anyway. Drop down to the floor and begin pelting them with arrows as soon as you can. The wizard closest to you will not be able to hit you, but keep an eye on the eggplants thrown by the farther of the two. Avoiding the eggplants is a higher priority than killing the wizards. If you get hit by an eggplant, retrace your steps and make your way back to the hospital as quickly as you can. When both wizards are defeated, enter the left door. It's not recommended that you visit the shop above. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This room is nearly identical to the previous room. Stay low to the ground until you... Uh, drop down to the floor, can attack the wizards, defeat the wizards, and enter the left door. Okay, so we need to go right, and then up, and then to the left. Wait a moment and watch the pattern of spikes. Um, until they have the timing down. Jump over the first... Okay, so... Okay, okay, so we'll, we'll do this again, then. Let's do... Let's follow the uh, instructions here. Let's do that. Resume. Uh, okay, so <laughs> let's just reload. I didn't even know where I was. Oh, you never know what patterns they're going to take. You piece of shit. There we go, okay, good. So, um... Up here? God damn it. It's not a good thing to, to go up that way, actually. I don't think so. Oh, they can't come... Ah! There we go. This is the hospital, but I can't do anything here. What do you mean, hospital? I mean... What do you want me to do? I'm not healing up here or anything. I don't know what that is for, honestly. Oh, that's right. That's right. You need to use that against them. There can only ever be four snakes or four hearts from the snakes on the screen at the same time. That's how you do it. That's how you use it against them. Now I'm actually very low on health, though. That's not good. Uh, I think, like, one more hit and I'm dead. But it's good to know. At least I'm working shit out here, you know? Get up, get up, get up, get up! Jesus. Not the, cl the best thing to do. So, Tom, how are you? How are you, man? What, what are you up to? Oh, of course. Of course. I should have paid more attention. Just ignore them. I don't even know what that is, though. There 
we go. Good. Very good. Oh yeah, do that. Ah. Very good, very good. Okay. Eggplants! Ah! Ooh! Oh, <laughs> did you see that? Nice. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, no. You know what? I don't think so. Okay, we got to the room with the spikes. Okay, good, 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 good. Now I need to see what the walkthrough is telling me here. Whew, okay. Uh, wait a moment and watch this pattern of spikes until you have the timing down. Uh, jump over the first spike box, then it's when it's safe, and drop down the ladder, climb down the room to the room below. Quickly drop down to the floor before falling down to the, f to the left. When you climb down the ladder to the room below, try to uh, try to stick to the left side of the ladder. As Pit climbs down the ladder, be sure to press and hold left as you drop, so as to reach the ledge on the left that is otherwise out of reach. Enter the door to the left. If you miss the ledge, you're going to have to cycle all the way back to a room near you to starting your starting location and retrace your steps. Fight the four cobbles here. If you wish, and take the ladder down. Drop down to the floor. When you arrive at the floor, first travel left to visit the pool of a cobble. Oh, you can... Oh, nice. Return to this room and take to the door. Return to this room and take to the door to the right. Okay. Take the door to the right. Once again, wait a moment and I'm going to level up. No matter what, do not miss the jump of the first pool of lava. Yeah, okay. Okay. So apparently we weren't supposed to uh, get some item that could take us across that um, green uh, room. Uh, green uh, uh, blocks that were blocking our path. It's good to know. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, so these are the guys that we're supposed to kill. Uh okay. There we go. Thank you, walk walk through. It's not making it any easier uh, in difficulty difficulty wise. It's just telling me where to go so I can like focus on playing the game and not trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go as well. Some purists would say, "Well, that's part of the game." I get that. I can kind of see where they're coming from, but. I don't really have the time to do that. I feel more like I want to get through the game. So uh, we're doing this right now. Like this. Uh, we were supposed to go here, right? Let me see. Let me see. Fight the four cobbles here. Take the ladder down. Drop down to the floor. Finding more cobbles along the way. Take the ladder down. When you arrive at the floor, travel. Okay. We're almost at the pool of recovery. Good. And go. <laughs> it's good to know at least, uh, also that uh, there can only ever be like. Four snakes on screen, so the urns on the top of the, like, uh, on the ceiling, 
uh, won't drop anymore. Just leave the let the snakes leave the snakes alive, you know. Sorry, Farty, I haven't rage raged yet. Farty's like, uh, the night is young. <laughs> it actually is, though I can't stay up for too long. Okay, left door, pool of recovery. Nice! There we go. I said, uh, I said, sorry, Farty, I have, I know you wanted to see, uh, uh see me rage and all, but uh, I'm keeping quite cool right now. And then I s added, Farty's like, uh, the night is still young. <laughs> You know what, after a significant event, I should save, and that pool of recovery was actually a significant event, so I should probably save here. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, and that one. Good. So, how's it looking with the wife, Barty? Are you, uh, are you about to play the game? Vermintide. Okay, we need to watch out for the lava. The lava is actually pretty dangerous in, the, in this game because it's it not only does it hurt you but it slows you down as well oh I knew it. it that's a very hard place to go through you know what maybe I should, uh, should go back AFK soon okay <laughs> food then game yeah, I'm not gonna be playing for long either. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna work tomorrow. I'm gonna go back to work, and I need to get up at 5:45. So it's like, can't stay up for too long. Play maybe a, a, another 30 minutes or something. Okay, we'll do that. Ah, nice! I did it. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, they pushed me out. The bastards. I need to recover again. Getting up. No, 5.45 a.m. That's when I need to get up. There we go. <laughs> ah, and I really I can't stay up too late because I have been doing that like last week. I worked Thursday and Friday and I went up 5:45 and I went to bed like 3. I got like two hours of sleep. That's not like <laughs> missing a chunk of the morning. Stop it, you! Well, when do you get up in the morning? <laughs> there we go. Good. Okay. I'll stay here now. What? Oh shit! Okay, go, 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 go. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, no! Damn it. Lost half my health. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, and I can't hit him! Oh no! No! Oh. Jesus.
4-ish a.m. Wait, don't you work from home? Why do you, why do you, uh, go up so early? Get up so early. Four. That's, that's torture. You can't go up at four. Farty, I refuse to believe that. You must be treated like a human being. And you know what? Humans are made to go up with the sunlight. We're not made to go up like in the middle of the night. Or get up. Okay, I'm just gonna book it through this room. Oh, okay, one hit. Yeah, okay. Hold on. I'm gonna try to get that one first. Die! There you go. Thank you. <gasps> Jesus. Wait, where am I actually... No! You... Is this something that disappears over time, I wonder? Uh, hold on. Oh, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm in construction and the job is 45 minutes away. Oh, you're a construction worker? Wow. I didn't know that. Cool. Well, Farty, thank you for uh, stopping by. You're always welcome. And uh, have a good evening, man. Cheers. Ah. Whew. Oh, you can. Oh, I want to beat the boss at least. Come on. I want to fight the boss. I... Yeah. There we go. Ooh. Okay, let's try and get around everything here. Oh, fudge. Oh, my lord. Yeah, that's not working. Thank you. Go away. <gasps> Why can't I hit you? I want to hit you. Like, I could probably just avoid him now. Ah, there you go. Nice. Okay. Uh, where am I supposed to go now? Let me see. Uh, pass through the room. Uh, red Ganymedes. The red variety is stronger than the blue and take more hits to defeat. Yeah, I noticed. They are worth more points and hearts. Enter the room to the right. Prepare to dodge more eggplants. Two eggplant wizards occupy two different platforms. Take care of the lower wizard first. Really? As it can threaten your safety if you try to attack the higher wizard instead. No, I thought uh, the other way around was, like, better. Like, it worked better. Once the lower wizard is defeated, attack by one and then proceed through the right door. This room is no different than the previous spike room. Cross over to the door on the right. Drop down to the floor and deal with the two red kobolds that you find here. Run over to the ladder and climb down to the room below. There are four red kobolds that you can co contend with or ignore. Run into the ladder. Run over to the ladder and climb down to the room below. Four red kobolds that you can contend with or ignore. Again. Oh, I already said that. Oh, am I reading the same part twice? Maybe. Uh, run into the right... Oh, yeah, run into the right door to reach the boss of this fortress, Twin Bellows. Let me just get some uh, sneak intel on Twin Bellows. Twin Bellows is not an extremely aggressive fortress boss. His fiery breath is more of a threat to Pit's health than his body. Um, Twin Bellows is not capable of attacking enemies. 
Uh, Twin Bells is not capable of attacking enemies that stand behind him, as the only time he turns around is when he has traveled the extent of the room and has no choice. Therefore, you can typically jump over him and attack him safely from behind. You may even manage to catch him in such a state that he cannot move. If this is the case, continue firing arrows at him so that he does not have a chance to recover and resume any movement. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Our first boss fight in Kid Icarus. Uh, sure. I only have two hit points, though, which is a little bit annoying. Another spike room? Oh, it's the same one as before, basically. Ah! I knew I shouldn't have done that. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> that was close. That was really close. Okay, don't do that anymore. <laughs> Stop doing that. Oh, no, I didn't see the urn. I didn't paint it. Oh, shit. I only have one hit point left, I think. But at least now they can't, they can't drop any more snakes on me. Oh, that was such a... There we go. Okay. <laughs> I did not survive long in that boss fight. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, that's how you do it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Take as little damage as possible here. Yes! Oh, shit. Right, the eggplants. I found a find out a way to cheese this one. Oh shit! Oh, hold on, hold on. No! Fuck. Yeah. If you can master that. Um, Okay, good, good, good. I can't take them out, right? No. That is not gonna work. That is not gonna work. I'm gonna have to, like, rush that room. Okay, hold on. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Rush the room. Rush the room. Fuck. Oh, and the eggplants. Like, I'm... I need to pay attention. There we go. Good. Thank you. Room to the right. That. that was such an easy jump. Why did I... Oh, why did I mess that up? Unbelievable. Damn it. Okay. 
Okay, rush, 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 rush. Okay, that's okay. That that works. That works. Perfect. Ha! Missed me. Nice. Whew. Okay, we're getting better at this. I don't even have an extra life, you guys. <laughs> it's because of the uh, save states that I can actually proceed like this. Okay, uh, boss fight, so we're gonna save state here. Thank you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Nice, okay. Wait, he... Wait, he has 100 hit points, really? Look at that! Oh my god. Oh shit. What? Are you serious? Wait a minute. What? What the hell was up with that? The walkthrough said that he couldn't turn around. Twin Bells is not capable of attacking enemies that stand behind him, as the only time he turns around is when he has traveled the extent of the room and has no choice. What? That's just a bold-faced lie. Therefore, you can typically jump over him and attack him safely from behind. You may even manage to catch him. I mean, he's easier from behind, but he's he he still uh, turns around pretty easily. Like, frequently, I mean. Waznagi, welcome to the show. How are you? Emperor of Retro Games. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for that. That was uh, very kind of you to say. Uh, okay, go away. So, let's see if we can do this somehow. Wait, is he gonna move? Okay. Oof. Oh, now he, he doesn't turn around. That's true. Ooh, ah! Now he turned around! Oh, that was bad. Okay, so he's trying to get to reach me, I think. Uh, nice voice, you must work in radio. Pfft. Wow. Thank you for the compliment. Thank you very much. Uh, no, I don't, actually. Good morning, this is KBBDL. You know, like... <laughs> I don't, but... Uh... That would be interesting. I think I would stammer a little bit too much, though, in radio. I would be like, not stammer, but I would like, uh, I would be, uh, 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 too much. You know, like, um, uh, 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 you know. <laughs> nope. Fuck off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what? What is the what is the walkthrough talking about? I want to see if there's like a pattern here. Nope. Oh shit. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> he glitched through. <laughs> really? Okay. Oh. Really? Fuck. Oh, you can do that! Wait. Just make him... Yeah! Okay. That's a little bit easier then. Okay. Yeah, I shouldn't be uh, pushed into the wall like that, but... I think I figured it out. When you shoot him, he, likes, he like glitches up a little bit. And if you keep him at that level, his uh, projectiles, fireballs, I think it is, uh, won't hit you because they go straight forward and you'll be like on a lower elevation I think I should try to exploit that as much as possible Damn it. I mean the timing needs to be correct though like that for instance okay now it's going back okay right just you see? There we go. Okay. Oh! Jesus. No, 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 no. Ah! Okay. Yes. It's so unfair, though, that he has like a hundred hit points and I have to hit him a hundred times while he just... It's enough for him to hit me once. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Oof. Okay. <gasps> I knew it. I saw that coming. I saw that coming a mile away. But I think I'm getting better at this, though. Oh, shit. Oh, is he glitched? I think he's glitched. Ha <laughs> ha. Cheesing the boss. Cheesing the boss. Thank you. I find it pretty unfair, anyway, that he has 100 hit points. And I only have, like, three or four. Oh! I thought I was in between. <sighs> yeah, this is gonna be like the last thing we do tonight, I think. I mean. 100? 100 hit points. Who is the genius that came up with this boss? Like, seriously. <laughs> oh, stop that. I knew it! Fuck. Wait, is it enough to just hit him once? I wonder. Wait, wait, wait. I need to, I need to see that. Like, if we hit him once, he goes up there. We can duck! Oh my god. No, we can't. Another inconsistency error in this game. Remember the first time I... The first episode I played this? There was a million things that I said, oh, okay, so the game changes the rules now. Because it used to be like this, but now it's like this. Here we have another example. You know, I could duck... And then I couldn't duck, suddenly. This is the most inconsistent game I've ever played. No joke. 
At least in, in uh, retro circles. But I can't really think of any other game like that is this inconsistent. You see, now I, that there I could duck. Watch out, watch out. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, good. You see, you see, you see. It seems as if uh, I can only duck if we're on the red checkered floor. No, okay. Now I couldn't do that either. Another inconsistency. Error. Oh, I hate that. What? Oh, yeah, he glitches through. Yeah, I forgot that. <laughs> oh, come on. How's anybody going to be able to beat him, like, with four hit points? And I only have three because I'm not at full heart, at full strength. That's just ridiculous. Okay. Fuck you. Turned around. Ah. Okay, we're gonna have to do this. Pelt him with arrows! Pelt him with arrows! Pe <laughs> Come on! Stay glitched! Stay glitched! Yes! Thank you. Oh. Three sacred treasures, finally. Defeat twin bells without the Centaurus. Whatever. Obtain the mirror shield. And that actually uh, is one hour now. And remember, I did tell you that I wasn't going to stream for long. Uh, I will probably wrap it up here. Next time, we're going to go into World 2, which is Earth. This wasn't Earth. Uh, this was a fortress level for the first world, the underground. Now we're going to um, take on Earth. and It's a side-scrolling uh, world, so that might be actually more to my liking uh, instead of going up and down. So, yeah, save, save, and close content i think there we go uh yeah so the reason i'm uh, stopping here and now is just because i have work tomorrow and i don't want to risk like staying up way too late uh which i always tend to do if i stream or if i uh am here by the computer basically um so yeah that's pretty much it for tonight as I said, next Sunday we are going to go uh, back to Kate Icarus and uh, continue that little romp through Nostalgia, nostalgia World. Um, I'm going to save that. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I think that is it for tonight. And tomorrow we are going to be returning to uh, Day Z and Project Base where uh, Zai and I are going to log back onto the public server and see if our gear and our car uh, is still there. Uh, feel free to join me. I don't know what time we're going to do that. Um, probably somewhere around 8 or 9 p.m. GMT plus 1 Swedish time. But if you feel like it, feel free to join me. Feel free to join two noobs that for some reason haven't died yet in Daisy. Uh, I thought, actually, the first time 
the first episode, I thought we would die like immediately for somebody, you know, from from somebody capping us from afar or something. But we have actually managed to survive for way. We, we've managed to beat the odds for a, for a really long time. So uh, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. And the rules are still still apply. Uh, we can't. We are allowed to die once. We get like one second chance. But if both of us have already died once and we die again, then that's sort of like, that's the end of that project, basically. That's sort of the experiment. Um, so yeah, feel free to join us tomorrow when we return to that. As always, I wish you the very best. Bart Narko, thank you for stopping by. Have a great week. And you too, Waznagi. And everybody else watching this, or anybody else watching this, potentially. Uh, and I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. Take care, be mindful of social distance, and always remember to keep the retro legacy alive. The Zigobite 83 wishing you the best. Take care, good night, and goodbye.